Hi guys, welcome everyone. So before we uh, get to supper tonight, I'd like to do my little welcome speech here and get that out of the way, and then we'll go go into just a couple quick welcomes from our district of Chetwynd and possibly our local MLA over there. Uh, before we begin tonight, I'd like to acknowledge that we're all on traditional lands of Treaty 8 territory. And it's nice to say that both the Soto and West Moberly First Nations are sponsors and friends of this event. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone, and the wholehearted good day, mate, to, you know, our Aussie contingent. <laughs> we are really our lucky group to be able to host such a diverse group of carvers each year from so many corners of the world. If I could have all the carvers and assistants that they have with them, please stand up for just a moment. All the, all the carvers and their assistants. So this, this amazing array of artists is why we have all gathered here tonight. And I encourage everyone, if given the opportunity, to say welcome and thank you to as many of them as you can. Thank you for that. We say welcome because here in our northern little corner of this great big country, we are truly excited to share the hospitality and the little things that make living here so special. And we say thank you because we have seen that year after year, the blood, the sweat, and the toil that goes into creating the many, many masterpieces that have filled our small town, beautified our streets, enlivened our businesses, and not to mention putting us on a world map that we would otherwise not know existed. And now we can't imagine any other way. All of this began 15 years ago with a handful of local carvers and some from not so far away. A visionary team of locals, but mostly our own Chamber of Commerce in partnership with the District of Chetwin and the Council. In the formative years of the competition, they were nurtured and grown into the event that it has become. Three years ago, it was decided that a society would be formed with a volunteer board of directors with the task of planning all the facets of what had become a world-renowned event. We as a society have learned to appreciate the time and effort that it takes each year to arrange all these ducks into a row. To all the volunteers and organizers out there that, that got us all here, thank you. This year's board consists of eight members and I'd like to take a quick moment to acknowledge them for their hard work that brought this all together. If you could just please raise your hand as I call your name. Carmen Westgate. Ryan Pierce. Jeannie Brock, Joe Langford, and this year's Executive Committee, Secretary Laura Thomas, Treasurer Wilma Richardson, Vice, Vice President Vicki Embry, and President Chris Larson, myself. And a new and welcome addition to this year's team is our district liaison, Councillor Jocelyn Disher. Thank you all so much for showing up for our meetings at the library and the extra effort it takes to put on a weekend like this each year. So we have acknowledged the carvers and the volunteers in the room. All that remains is that 75% of everybody else that's here. Uh, everyone here that is a sponsor in, the, in some way, shape or form, Please raise your hand. Right? <laughs> that, is, that is the majority of the room here. It's sponsors that really put this together. And don't be fooled, this is only a small representation of the sponsors that it takes to maintain, maintain a, a world-class event like this. Uh, and it, I would be remiss in not mentioning you all for the continued support that has truly been the lifeblood of this competition since its inception. Let me just take a look, a look around the room and give you a few examples. Obviously, we have the District of Chetwin. Without their foresight and support of this event, none of this could have happened. They're responsible for the heavy load of displaying, cleaning, fixing, and sealing these carvings. Not to mention the event help that we get from Blaine and Ben and the whole crew with the public, with the public works end. No doubt about it, they are the big dog in the room. However, even with all that they do, each and every sponsor here holds the same moniker of without you, none of this would be possible. We have High Sky here tonight. Chetwin, Chetwin, Chetwin Petroleums has provided all the fuel 
and various financial support for this competition for longer than the seven years that I've been a part of it. Our very own Lakeview Credit Union, a local bank smaller than your typical box store bank, to be sure, has continually been a major supporter, sponsoring first and second place prizes for years. Chris Foltz, I'm sure you've had a chance to spend their generosity on more than one occasion. <laughs> a handful of years ago, it was decided that this, as this competition was to continue moving forward, that we would need to purchase a variety of tools for our international and faraway carvers to use, as flying with chainsaws and various other tools that look deadly enough to dismember and disembowel a bear are not that easy to fit in your carry-on. The credit union stepped up and made that a reality for us, and that has always been a very good sticking point with the competition. Thank you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. AIM, AIM Trucking is another one. With their giant bins that we use each year to transport the offcuts of, and the sawdust, invaluable and yet provided to us because they love the event and what it adds to our town. I've been working on a deal with AIM Trucking for a CCAN that we'll be converting into a tool crib for our site. And, and they're just a great sponsor and have always been on board. That, that leads me to Home Hardware, who as well as providing all the stain brushes and various other tidbits for our cause, this year has agreed to help me get that new tool crib up and running with doors and windows to make it a livable space and maybe a few shelving materials. But we haven't discussed that yet, so I'll just leave that there. <clears throat> <laughs> that's right, that's right. So A&W a for years. Now that's, that's a family of business owners that treats us so well each and every year. Thank you. To those of us that love your fresh hot Timmy's in the morning, yeah, we've got that too. Subway, Domino's, all these franchises have one thing in common, and that's local ownership that goes above and beyond to make sure that we put on the best show as a community and as a team. Oh, the food that we will enjoy in the next four days. It'll be worth the trip alone. Mama G's, who runs the downstairs restaurant, will be catering our meal tonight and prepare to be delighted. This meal in the hall, thank you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> this meal, the hall we're in, the wine on the tables, and everything you see here is proudly provided by sponsors that have continually supported and been instrumental in growing this event. Little Prairie Community Forest, and Canada Services Company, and even our own MLA, Mike Bernier. So, that's off to them. Simply Perfect Catering will leave us uncomfortably full in such a good way. Crazy Beans Bistro has homestyle cooking down to a T. On Saturday, we'll be having a big old steak barbecue up at the Chetwin Rod and Gun Club, and our local IGA, uh, thing, uh, grocery store has been marinating steaks in preparation again this year. And thanks to the Rod and Gun Club again this year for continuing to provide us with such a, a cool venue to hold this, this thing at. There are many sponsors that help us pay and arrange for the food each year as well. Hub International Insurance, Chetwin Forest Industries, All West Glass, BWD, BDW Services, SNRI, Cal Tire, Northern Lights College, Lone Star Sporting Goods. All food sponsors this year, thank you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to stop talking about the food because it's over there and smelling good. Let's, let's make sure we mention a few of the other, none of this would be possible without use. The hotels in here in town are no exception. Through them, we are able to house our carvers, judges, and still have room to put up the waves of attendees and out of town sponsors when needed. So thank you to the Pine Inn, the Pomeroy Inn and Suites, Days Inn Chetwin, Lakeview Inns and Suites, and the Stagecoats Inn. <laughs> I can only imagine what it's like to have to clean that sawdust out of every nook and cranny of every bed they provide and be thankful for the staff that just gets it done. This year in particular, half of our carvers landed a day early and everyone was more than accommodating. It makes a person proud to be from a small town. <clears throat> Let us take a, a second, let's take a second and talk about our chainsaw sponsors. Again, one of those would not be possible without them type of moments. 
For years now, Echo Canada has supported us with saws and technical help out there in the field. They have gone to great lengths to keep a steady supply of industry-leading carving and blocking saws running sharp and ready. They truly are a worthy partner in this world-class event. On the other hand, at a more local level, we have been working with John Stevens from Trailblazing Power of Dawson Creek and Fort St. John, who have provided us with mixed bar oil and podium prizes of saws, blowers, hats, swag over the years. But, but wait until you see what he brings to the stage this year when the awards are handed out. The carvers will not be disappointed. John is a Husqvarna and a steel dealer. And this year has reached out to both to help them represent their brands here in Chetwin. Thank you for the extra effort, John. <laughs> Next, we come to the sponsors that helped us get these carvers here. It is their sponsorships that assist the carvers with their travel expenses and allows us to track the world's best artists and wood carvers. And let's face it, with, without them, let's say it with me now, none of this would be possible. And that's right. So, so thank you to Black Diamond Group for Ryan Anderson. Dawson, you bet. Dawson Cooperative Union, Sander Boom. Does Cho Group of Companies Limited, Roderick Brown. West Moverly, First Nations, Levi Kea. TDE Canada Trust, Marina Cole. AIM, AIM Ventures and Roseno Transport, Chris Foltz. Chetwind Industries, Takeo Hayashi. <laughs> High Sky Enterprises, Brandon Kroon. Our very own District of Chetwind, Valerie Kunjil. Chetwind Petroleums, Jacob Lucas. Bambina Pipeline Corporation, Griffin Ramsey. And last but not least, Rocky Plains Ventures, Ryan Villers. And right behind those sponsors are the sponsors that supported this year's judges. Thank you to Caribou Road Services, Canadian Western Bank, and Canoe McCole. I'm excited to announce that this year's judges are from the, from the great US of A. I don't think he's uh, here yet. No, I don't see uh, Steve Backus here anywhere. But he is going to be our guest ju judge this year. And he has uh, been a judge before. He has been instrumental in uh, many, many carving competitions just across the border down in that zone. And uh, we look forward to having him here this year. Next, we have a local judge that has been instrumental in setting the high standard of judging we see here in Chetwin. And he has been working, volunteering, and judging with this competition for many years now. Jim Milner. <laughs> and lastly, this judge has shadowed our judges for years and has been a part of the competition for even longer. She has, taken a keen, she has a keen and fair eye and a sharp wit I can account for. And though she may walk softly, she packs a big stick. Naomi Larson. And I say good luck to all three of you in trying to sort this mess out. No one here envies the task that you will have in front of you, picking a, winter, a winner out of the crowd. Roderick Brown. There's the guy. Glad to see you made it. So now we're going to start from the beginning again and get up to speed here. No, no. It's OK, Roderick. What do you got there? Oh. Okay. Enough cannot be said about the in-kind and open sponsors that put in their time, effort, and sometimes just cold hard cash to be a part of the team that brings this thing to the finish line. The scaffolding we use is provided by Industrial Scaffold Services. And then let's see it carve the top of an eight-foot log without it. Peace Country Rentals provided the porta potties. I'm gonna say that's a must-have. <laughs> McKee vacuum trucks sucks them out, also high on my priority list. <laughs> Can4, one of our local mills, kicks in the swag bags each year and has been a constant supporter of this, this thing. Uh, this year, Ryan Cook, Vicki Embry, Laura Thomas, and Buffalo Aerial Services all got together and provided prizes towards a raffle draw that we've had running since our trade show. And I mean, who doesn't want to win a 20-minute helicopter ride for three up the valley, right? <clears throat> we have uh, shuttled the hall of carvers around for this, this year for the first time ever. 
from, so thank you, Diversified Transport. Even the companies that we used to make our banners and print our t-shirts and back, backpacks wanted to donate back. Bold Promotions provided us with water and drinks for the weekend. Elite Signs and Graphics provided us with the first place winning banner that has all the sponsors on it that the uh, winning carver takes home with them. It's a big point of pride to the carvers to have that Chapman banner. <laughs> so that's, uh, you know, that's really cool. Our, uh, we got, uh, who else do we have there? Um, Stephen Krasoffi cleans, nips, and tucks the logs so we can fit these monsters into the tents. Our local radio and TV station, Peace FM Chet TV, continue to promote and archive this event into the history books. I will even be thinking of Red Apple while I sip on one of the 100 donated juice boxes. <laughs> and when it comes to cash and the things that get things done to just, that just need to and these partners can't be beat. Thank you, Kerry Barnson Trucking, Chetwin Society for Community Living, Crow Feathers General Store, Canoe McColl Resources, Red Apple, Subway, Doki General Partnership, you guys rock. Photographer and Auctioneer Awards sponsored this year were Gear Rama Supply, Rat Race Contracting, and Tim Hortons. All continuing sponsors who continue to give and be involved. Thank you all so much. Finally, the prize or award sponsors. Each year, the Carvers pick one of their own to receive the Carver's Choice Award. A highly coveted, as it is a nod from their peers, and they all seem that they all seen something special in your creation. Decks, decks, painting, and decorating. A new award this year being added for the Carvers is a Committee's Choice Award, and it will be chosen by the Board of Directors on behalf of volunteerism and community groups all over. Thank you, Subway Restaurants. It's, get, it's coming to the end, I promise. <laughs> but possibly equally coveted is the Carvers' Choice Award as the Carver's Choice Award is the People's Choice Award. This goes to the Carver who caught the eye and the imagination of the crowd over the weekend and is voted on by hundreds if not thousands of people over the weekend. And a fitting supporter of this award this year is the Community Arts Council, Chapman Community Arts Council. Third place, that means you beat out 75% of the world's best Carvers to make it to the podium position based on the judges' assessment of your work. Congratulations, SNRI. Second place, well, let's be honest, you're just the first place loser. <laughs> but you do, have a, you do have a pocket full of bills and a handful of new friends to prove that you were one step away from the top in Chetland. <laughs> Lake, Lakeview Credit Union is our second place sponsor this year. First place gets all the accolades, a banner to wrap yourself in, bragging rights that are valid for one whole year as current champion, an entire life of, as a very select alumni that can say that they made it to the top in Chetwin. Soraris Murphy Joint Ventures and TC Energy, which I'm thinking they're coming, but they would be sitting right here. <laughs> Barring any unforeseen happenings, our first, second, and third are automatically invited back the following year to test their skill yet again in this field of battle, and we all look forward to the next round. In the interest of getting everyone fed, I would like to now invite up our District of Chetwind representative, Laura Weisgerber, for a quick hello and, and welcome. And shortly after that, we'll have MLA Mike Bernier say hello and welcome as well. And then we will eat. Thank you. Well, I'll keep it a little bit shorter. Well, 15 years, hard to believe. I'm pretty sure, I think, actually I think Helen was probably one of the first people that started this um, 15 years ago. I'm not sure if she realized it'd go this far, which is amazing. Um, the mayor is not here tonight, but I would like to introduce the councillors that are here tonight. Um, if you could maybe just give a wave and or stand up. Um, first of all, Janet Wark and her husband, Jimmy. Rochelle <coughs> out Valbraith and her husband, Gordy. Jocelyn Disher and her husband, Joe. <laughs> Just about Carlton Bill. Mel Deck and his wife, Donna, is not here tonight. And our other councillor, Clay, is not here tonight, and our mayor's not, so I will carry on. First of all, I've been given the opportunity to be the spokesperson. Just let me lower this a little bit for mayor and council tonight, and I'm truly honoured to welcome all the carvers from all over the world. 
Some of you have traveled many miles to be here tonight. We welcome you with open arms. Sorry, we have, we hope you enjoy your time while you're here and hope that you get to spend some time in our great city. Our all community, sorry. <laughs> I would like to thank the society who have volunteered many hours to pull this off. Um, this group of people started working on this many, many months ago and closer to the event, the more hours they have put in. I know there will be some very tired people on Sunday evening and I'm sure some cold drinks will be passed around, but I know there will be some very proud people for how great and smooth this event is going to go. I would like to take the time at this time to thank our district staff. They put in a lot of hours over the weekend. Once this competition is over is when their work begins. Ben and the Public Works employees, the, prepare, the preparing the carvings to their life outside and moving all the carvings is no easy job, but they do a great, so thank you. Now the sponsors. For without you, I can guarantee you this would not happen. I know Chris has already mentioned this once and it's very important that you guys realize how important you are. This event, to put an event on this size, the cost is very high and unfortunately the community cannot do it on its own. The economic benefit that Chetwin receives is hard to measure in dollars and cents, but we can measure it by the popularity of this event and we are hitting it out of the park. So on behalf of Mayor Councilor, welcome Carvers. Society, thank you for the many hours you have dedicated to this event. Thank you Public Works for all your hard work and sponsors, thank you for having our back again. So grab your umbrellas and mud boots and enjoy your weekend. I look forward to seeing everyone at the competition. I'm not shy, I'll do this. So good evening everyone. Um, really honored as the local MLA to be here to help sponsor again uh, this event. But first of all, I want to thank everybody. As you've heard uh, from what Chris was saying, uh, this is a community event and a regional event. Uh, there's so many people who step up. So Chris and everybody who uh, puts so much time into putting this on, you deserve a round of applause too because you've done an amazing job again. <laughs> And of course, lots of the executive behind the bar, I don't know why, right? So, <laughs> um, I also think it's important you, you uh, acknowledge our friends from uh, down under. They've already got a day's head start. I think it's noon or one o'clock Thursday already over there. So uh, they don't have their log yet, or their, uh, but they're probably already eyeing up what they want to do. Um, I was also told that it's uh, after I finished speaking that it's dinner. So I was told to keep my remarks to 45 minutes. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. <laughs> Um, never give a, a politician a microphone, but I just want to truthfully uh, thank all of you, the carvers, uh, the sponsors, again, everyone who puts this on, because everybody in the region uh, really uses Chetwin as a bragging point, uh, not only of this event, but as you see, all of the carvings that we have all around the community and actually around the region, because the community has been so generous of making sure they showcase carvings and uh, Mayor and Council, have, I've got one in my office in Dawson Creek as well, and it's something that we're very proud of in the entire region of what takes place here in Chetwin. So that would not happen without everybody in this room, and I bet most people in the region have no idea how much work is involved, not only in the carving, but to put on this event. And so again, on behalf of everybody in the region, I want to thank everyone in this room for being here, for being involved, and again, making sure that this weekend, and the sun will come out uh, tomorrow, um, uh, but it's going to be an amazing weekend. And so I really uh, encourage everybody to get out, put it on social media, get more people here. But to the carvers who have traveled a huge distance to be here, thank you. If you've been here, if this is your first time, you will be an experience you'll never forget. If you've been here uh, multiple times, that's because you've ex experienced something you've never experienced before and wanted to be back here in Chetwin. So thank you, everyone, for being part of this amazing event. Thank you very much. Alrighty guys, I've been told by my executive council that it's time to get this show on the road. <laughs> what, what we're going to do next is we're going to invite the carvers up one by one, 
to uh, come and collect. Uh, we got a little swag bag from all of our uh, sponsors and various forms. If you if you if you're still eating, don't worry. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to push you. <laughs> it's just uh, the quicker we get through this part, the quicker we get to the good part, which is the end of the night where we do the log draw and we get everybody out there to have a look at what they're going to be dealing with. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to call up the carvers. I'm going to call them one by one. We got a uh, we got a, a through our generous sponsors. We have and through our our society here, we have uh, these bags. You can see there's names on the ends of the bags of the car for the carvers, and then we have for their assistance we have another bag, and they're filled with little hats and stuff from our from our local sponsors, from our from our big sponsors. They're they're. Uh, just, just a nice keepsakes for him to take home. So we're going to start out with Ryan Anderson. <laughs> Ryan was sponsored by Black Diamond Group this year, and if we could just have you stay up there, Ryan, uh, afterwards, just off to off to this side right here. Ryan stay. Ryan stay. Right. Uh, Sandra Bruden isn't here yet. He was sponsored by a Does Cho group of companies. So we'll move on to Roderick Brown. Or Does, Does Cho sponsored Roderick Brown. Sorry. Good to see you here, Roderick. Uh, next we have Levi Kea. Less more than the First Nations. I also have to mention that Carvers, there is a uh, series of waivers that not all of you have filled out yet that you have to sign before we get going tomorrow. That's the paperwork that you're getting handed from Vicky to, with stern looks. Yes. Uh, Marina Cole, TD Canada Trust. Uh, we have Chris Foltz, AIM Ventures, and Rosemont Transport. Takeo Hayashi, <laughs> Kevin Forrest Industries. You find a spot to squeeze in there, Taka. Brandon Kroon, High Sky Enterprises. Valerie Congeal, District of Chatwin. I promise I'll work on the enunciation of your name, Valerie. Bel yeah, well. it's, it's, it's spelled as hard as it is to say, I tell you. What was it, Dave? Valeri. Yes. All right. I'm working on it. Jacob Lucas, Chetwin Petroleums. <laughs> Griffin Ramsey, Pembina Pipeline Corporation. <laughs> Ryan Villers, Rocky Plains Ventures. So that is the 11 of our 12 carvers. We had one carver coming from the Netherlands who flew out of Frankfurt, Germany that got delayed by a flight and will be here this evening. He lands in Fort St. John at 9.30. So he'll be late, but he will be here and that's Sander Boom. 
and we look forward to having them all there. If we could get you all just to squeeze in a little bit, we'll steal a picture of this there right now as we have your carvers. Carvers, come on down this way. Come on down. Come on. Stack, stack them up down this way, boys. Thank you. Oh, you got, come on. They're a friendly bunch. <laughs> Somebody's done this before. Class of 2019. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You, got, you guys can make your way back to your seat, except for, who did I call first? Brian Anderson. We're going to let you draw the first log. So, so stay handy there, Carvers. Uh, we will get you to draw your log in the order that I called you back up in. So the first log for Ryan Anderson is, and he doesn't know what that is yet because we had our our secret uh, our secret uh, <laughs> security member down at the thing putting the numbers on the logs while we were having dinner. I gave so him twenty bucks to pitch. <laughs> yeah. So Ryan Anderson will be number 12 Carver this year. All right, come back, uh, Roderick Brown. What number you got there, Roderick? Eleven. Number eleven. Oh, it's, you guys are working from the top down. So just to let everybody know, after we get these logs drawn. The, the night's going to come to an abrupt end kind of thing as the, the carvers go out and look at their logs. So after, after we're done here this evening, if you want to go out with your, with your carvers, with your, with your thing, get a couple sponsor pictures, anything like that. We do have your sponsor banners with us tonight that has the carver's name on it and everything like that. And uh, so you'll be able to take a picture with their log at the beginning before it ever starts. So if that works for you, that's, that's what we're going to do. Uh, next we have Levi Kea, come pick your number. Ten. Number ten. Well then, come on. Number ten, all right. So we got 12, 11, and ten so far. <laughs> Marina Cole. Six. <laughs> I thought it was getting a little weird in here there for a second. Uh, Chris Waltz. <laughs> so something a little different we did this year too. And Chris Foltz has got number one. Uh oh. Some, something different we did a little bit this year is we also corresponded that number. So your carver number that you picked for your log tonight is also going to be your log number at the quick carve at the end of the weekend. So we and they're random again, and they're going to be laid out in a random thing. There's going it, to it's going to correlate to your quick carve log as well. They're all very quite equal the quick carve log, so it's not a big deal. But it just changes the layout of where you're standing in the field. Uh, next we have Takeo Hayashi. A 
It's a glass jar. <laughs> I think he's looking through the glass. <laughs> number, th number three. Glass jar. Come on. <laughs> Brandon Kroon. <laughs> number nine, Brandon Crew, number nine. Valerie? 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 Is it Valerie? Valerie? Damn, I'm gonna get it right. I did ask him once. Before. I'm just horrible with it. I've never Number eight. Jacob Lucas. I can't your hands are blocking. Number five. Number five for Jacob Lucas. Thank you, Jacob. Ryan Villers. So we have four Canadian four U.S. and four international carvers this year. <laughs> we have one Canadian, Canadian woman, Marina Cole, and one U.S. woman in Griffin Ramsey, and they're going to make everybody else look real bad, I'm hoping. Number four for Mr. Billers. What's, what's left there? What's left? That's, uh, that's Sanders' number. Oh, uh, Griffin? I was just, uh, oh yeah, look at that, near right before Ryan Village. <laughs> and there's two in there, there's two in there, so it's still a crap shoot. <laughs> number seven. Seven? Lucky number seven. <laughs> and Sander Boom will be carver number two when he shows up, whether he likes it or not. As I was saying, we have uh, four Canadian, four US, and four international carvers. Our international carvers this year are from Australia, from Lithuania, from Japan, and from the Netherlands. And that is about as international as it gets. So at this, at this time, we're, we're pretty much done with the evening. If I did miss any sponsors in the room tonight, I'm terribly sorry. You've seen how long that speech was. It's hard to do. So I, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, at this point, where basically you can stay and hang out, have a, have a couple beers if you like. We're going to go out to the log yard, have a look. If you want to come out with your carver and uh, get a little sponsorship picture, that'd be awesome. So, uh, I doesn't look rainy from here. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.